Hello everybody, Neil here from the Four Corners and welcome to a Ninjago 2021 Thoughts and Opinions video. In today's video, we'll be discussing how the Overlord Dragon might possibly be getting delayed for the upcoming Ninjago Winter Wave. Now delayed might be the wrong word to use, I think the correct term here is that the Overlord Dragon might be scheduled to release a little bit later than we as Ninjago fans expected. And I have a few reasons to why this is very possible. One is because the Overlord Dragon and the Ninjago City Garden sets are the only sets to not have leaked images yet. And also looking at LEGO as a whole, most of the LEGO 2021 sets have already been revealed, including the Season 14 March 1st release. So if all the LEGO sets even releasing on March 1st have been revealed, that means the Overlord Dragon and the Ninjago City Gardens might have a later release date. Another reason to why I think the Overlord Dragon and the Ninjago City Gardens might be coming out a little later than we expected is because they're also the only two sets without a proper release date. All the Season 14 sets are scheduled to come out on March 1st, which is already weird as it is because we usually don't get sets in the spring, and the rest of the Ninjago 2021 Legacy will be coming out on January 1st. So Ninjago 2021 already has a weird release date, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Overlord Dragon and the Ninjago City Gardens go out of the usual mold of Ninjago releases. Now the crazy thing that happens when the Overlord Dragon and the Ninjago City Gardens get delayed or scheduled later is that we get a third wave of Ninjago sets. Slap this in with the summer wave we're most probably getting on August 1st and we have a four wave year. Usually for Ninjago, we have one wave in the winter on January 1st and then one wave in the summer on August 1st. This year, they all seem to be split onto different dates. We have January 1st, March 1st, and then the Overlord Dragon and Ninjago City Gardens might have a date after that. And then we also have the summer wave to deal with too. So overall, if this trend continues, we could be getting Ninjago sets throughout the whole year. And it's hard to tell if this weird release schedule is going to be exclusive to next year or if it's going to be a standard from now on for Ninjago release dates. I'm pretty sure this weird release date is all for the 10th anniversary and there's something going on with the show and how it's going to air next year. Maybe we'll get a three-part season between March 1st and August 1st specifically for the 10th anniversary. In the end, now that I think that the Overlord Dragon and Ninjago City Gardens are going to come out together, I'm starting to think that those sets have a lot to do with each other. The Overlord Dragon is something that the fans have been asking for for a long time, so that's definitely special and it kind of deserves its own release date. And Ninjago City Gardens is said to be a $300 set based off of the Ninjago movie, but I have a feeling that it's a huge 10th anniversary set, maybe even based off of Borg Towers to go along with the Overlord Dragon in disguise. That is it for this video talking about how the Overlord Dragon and Ninjago City Gardens can come out on a later release date and how that makes next year have 4 waves for Ninjago set releases. Comment down below if you like this release schedule and you want it to continue for many years to come or if you like the original 2 wave release schedule. Personally, while I think this 4-way release schedule is part of the 10th anniversary, I still like it a lot more than the usual. Mainly because yes, it does make us wait a little longer for our favorite sets, but it also keeps the excitement going throughout the whole year. Thank you for watching this video talking about how the Overlord Dragon and Ninjago City Gardens might be getting their own exclusive release date, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye